a long time coming. One of our favorite games. They finally announced the first expansion to a very popular title, Betrayal at House on the Hill. Widow's Walk is the title of this expansion. Uh, we did a playback for this, and I know, although I don't didn't rewatch it or anything, I know that in that video we talked about the kind of stuff that we would want in an expansion for this game. What this is giving us is, um, for, if you're not familiar, this is a haunted house tile laying game. It's well, if you're not familiar, watch our playback. Watch our playback. <laughs> it's a cooperative game that kind of becomes somebody becomes the traitor usually. Yes, and. It's, uh, this new set has 50 new haunts, mm -hmm. scenarios, as well as some new cards, new tiles, and included in those tiles, you can now go on the roof of the house mm -hmm. <laughs> instead of just the basement and second and third floors, first and second floors, actually. Uh, and some of what's cool about some of the haunts is they got a lot of different influential people from the board game world and other geek culture. So um, the creator of Adventure Time wrote one, one of the Penny Arcade guys did one. The guy who did uh, Risk Legacy did one. And, uh, of course, like Bruce Glasgow, who designed the original Betrayal, is in there. So very cool. Lots of big stuff. Uh, does this sound like... Does it, sound, so does it sound like everything you wanted? I mean, it is... Yeah, um, well, I think if you haven't watched it, I'm going to just reiterate one thing. Yeah. Betrayal on House on the Hill is probably one of my favorite games. It was... Well, when we have our board game collections, we usually don't try to buy, excluding, you know, something like Magic or Android Network, something where you're almost supposed to have your own version. Yeah. Uh, this is one of the few games I wanted to buy my own copy of after playing Jonathan's, because to me it was just so much fun. The idea, the, I just love the tiling, the trader mechanic. And one of the very first games that we played. Oh, like, yeah, and I'd like, still be willing to, to play it again yeah. and again. And uh, we have. <laughs> I do think my only issue with this expansion, and you brought it up as well, um, is I feel like I, I understand with omens because since it, anything related to haunts hard because you have to coordinate what haunt number it is. But in terms mm -hmm. of items and events, I feel like they could have bumped up the number of the interior. I don't think there's nearly as many as there could have been. Yeah, they said there's. I think it's thirty new cards total of all split so between all items, three. omens, and events. Right. And yeah, that's my the thing that I I feel. And I think again, I think we've probably said some of this in our playback video. So if we're repeating ourselves, too bad. Um, I think it's been enough time. Right. The thing, the, the thing that I'm, the thing that I, the problems that I had with betrayal were not really the haunts, like, or that I really wanted more of them. Even though I love more of them, we still well, haven't done. Oh no, all especially of them. the fact that the we're getting all these people to write the haunts. Right. No, it's cool. It's awesome. Right. But as far as the base game is concerned, like we we still have plenty more we haven't seen. What we have seen a lot of is the first half of the game, or first third maybe, mm -hmm. where you're going through the same tiles, the same cards every time. And it gets, it, I, for me, it's gotten really old. I just want to skip to the end. The tile, I'm not as, I mean, I love the new the tiles. The tiles aren't as Mostly because since, because they're in different rooms, it changes everything. Because, I mean, we've had plenty of times, I think, when we've had this long snaking hallway or something. Because, right, so, <laughs> right. And because they can be in different levels, it changes things, which yeah. is the scenario. No, so that's, that's why, because that cool. connects to the haunt. But still, overall, even with the, I guess, complaints I have, mm -hmm. I'm still super excited. Because I love this game still so much. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, I, we, it's something we wanted for a long time, and hopefully they add have more of well, these. Well, the fact, I didn't think about adding a whole new floor. No, that's cool. And that's really exciting, and I think that's... But, so I'm, I'm still hoping, though, that maybe there are some tweaks to... Like, what I want is t tweaks to old haunts. Maybe, like, new versions of well, the Well, no, haunts. I think they might do that, actually. Because, well, think of the fact that if you're throwing in a new floor, that certain haunts might make more sense because there's a roof. Right. So I don't think that's outside the realm of possibilities. I think I almost would rather have another new edition of this game <laughs> than, a, than just an expansion. There's a lot of stuff really in the core, some of the mechanics that are, I still feel like are a little clunky with like combat and moving past people. And then, then there's like, you know, of course the notorious uh, health tracker things that always fall off. Uh, like uh, this is very. This has always been a game of very much of theme over mechanics. Well, I think I, one of the things we, I would like to point out now is uh, I'm hearing between us a lot of negatives. <laughs> but you should realize the reason you're hearing that yeah. is because we've played it so much. Right. Right. We, we, this is coming from a place of we've played this game like 
we've, we've been able we've times. been able to analyze a lot of the cracks that you wouldn't usually get if you played something maybe once or twice or whatever. Right. No, it's I, it's from love. I feel like I'm I'm usually harder on the things that I really like. <laughs> I mean, maybe maybe that's not. So true. you really love Batman v Superman. <laughs> I, I love it so so much. Um, yeah. So I don't know. So I'm I'm really happy that they announced this. We don't have a price yet. It's coming out in October, so for Halloween. But whatever they do with it, it's just exciting to hear movement on it. Yeah. And overall, it's something to check out and not check out the base. Because like we said, we've played a lot, and you mentioned before, we still haven't seen every one of the, the right. scenarios. Right, there's still plenty I'm of still stuff. angry at the one scenario you got to play. Oh, the thing, thing one? Because <laughs> yeah. that just sounds so cool. Yeah, there's cool stuff. And I do think, another thing we should mention, because this game's been around for so long, and this is the first expansion, they've had a lot of time to see how other games have done things. Mm. So doing a lot more interesting haunts. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, definitely very excited. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs>